I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... How's my star director? Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping action <sighs> continues unabated. And before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon and the shoddy cost more per hour than you do? Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. premieres. Oh, yes, oh. ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm -hmm. press and the barrage of lights. to appeal for money, or cut away when people start brandishing guns in the studio, like this. You're on pressing issues, and in this show, we discussed morality. I think we made a lot of progress and really came together. I'm Maurice Chavez. Bye. Uh, please, don't kill me. I hope you are enjoying pressing issues. I certainly was. Yes, it's almost as interesting as listening to you, Jonathan. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Michelle. It is, isn't it? Before we let you get back to the show, I thought you'd like to know VCPR has managed to raise $30 this hour, which should keep us on the air for another 15 minutes at least. Thankfully, due to the generosity of the people at DeLeo and Furax, the fascinating show Legal Review will still run, but now back to the pressing issues. Actually, before we let you get back to the show, I'd like to say something. I know that public radio may not seem very... winner started out in public radio without public radio pizza or the fact that a lot of people love to hear themselves rattle anyway sermon over i hope you folks at home understand how passionate we are about public radio and it has nothing to do with the fact i got kicked off the networks that was very moving jonathan back to pressing issues where is the creep put him on hello as you may know you're on vcpr and this is maris chavez that is, I am Maurice Chavez, not James or Chavis. This isn't a game show. Sorry about the upbeat opening. This isn't a game show. It's a political and social debate on free radio, without adverts. And I'm still Maurice Chavez. Hi. Next up on pressing issues, we tackle one of the most important issues in our country today. The issue of perception. Not credit card fraud. That's deception. But we're talking about perception. How we perceive the world. These are optimistic times we're living in. A time of go-getters and doers. Our hero is the entrepreneur. The shaker and the maker. Positive thinking, we are told, is everything. Think it, and we can do it. Or can we? Let's press the issue. Now, personally, some days I wake up and I look out the window and I think it's great to be alive. Other days, like payday or my ex-wife's birthday, I want to hide under the pillows and cry. But that's me, a man of contradictions, as my therapist said. He was a young guy. But whatever. I'm Maurice Chavez. And on our panel right now, we've got three very contrasting views about the issue of positive thinking. On my right, I have gothic artist, vampire hunter, and, in his words, Man of the night, Constantinos Smith. Constantinos, hello. Greetings, mortal. I hope this is good. I'm missing a seance to be here. You don't sound excited to be here. No, man. I'm mind-numbingly depressed. It's great. Okay, I'm going to have to interrupt you there. And on the left, I have positive thinker extraordinaire. A man who dragged himself up from the gutter. Jeremy Robar. Hey, the ghetto, not the gutter. I didn't live in the gutter. I live in the ghetto. I'm a survivor, not vermin. I'm from the streets. Okay. Hey, I can teach you how to be a survivor, too. All of you. I can help everyone. I've got what they call a gift of communications. 
I can help you all realize that gift. Make something of yourselves. Realize your dreams. I'm like a high school counselor. I'll show you your potential. It's easy. All you have to do is follow my simple program on audio cassette or VHS. Oh, okay, okay. Not right now. This isn't a commercial. And if you're not going to underwrite the station, I can't let you read these blatant blocks. People pay for that. Hey, everything in life is an opportunity. When I was in jail, I got the idea for my current business. And look at me now. I got offices in Vice City, Bogota, Lebanese, and Jamaica. If I can do it, I can help you make something of yourself. You can be just like me, a success. Hey, enough, enough, no more. Not a word from you until you are called upon again. It's a three-stage process. Learn, start, do it. And shut up. I'm warning you, this is my show. You shut your mouth. Shut it now and keep it shut. Do not push me, you shiny-suited prick. Do not push me. Hey, you have to dress to impress. I cover that in my program. People make judgments on who you are based on your appearance. Scientists say we form 98% of our opinions on a person in the first day of second we meet them. Hey, and if scientists say it, it must be true. I teach you how to live that. Enough. This is pressing issues. Enough, okay? Enough. Please, no more. Okay, my last panelist is someone without a plan to sell. We have a problem, but with a beautiful message. So it says here, Vice City, Civilian of the Year for 1980.